Third. You've got one of the most authentic cuts. I just can't believe you absolutely destroy it. Man, sorry. If you're going to reinvent cannoli, it better be the best in the world. <laughs> but it's not very good at all. Unfortunately for me, it's a no. Sadly, it's a no. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> it's going to be a long season. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 54 years old, and I always loved cooking, but I was never able to follow my passion. So I want to prove to the world that you're never too old to chase your dream. What is this? First name, where you're from, and what's the dish? My name is Suba from New York. My entire family is here, my dear wife and two children, and my mother, she came all the way from India. What? What? The dish is jambalaya with a side condiment, raita from India. Hold on a minute. You've taken the biryani lid yes. and stuck it on top of a jambalaya. Yes. Why? When I came to this country from India, I came to New Orleans first. You will taste the original Cajun jambalaya served in an Indian platter. I live in New Orleans. You're, you're treading in some really uncharted waters here. Shall we? Please, sir. Man. So. Oh, boy. Wow. Mm -hmm. You're playing with cultures here beyond belief. Has your mum tasted this? Uh, not yet. Where is she? She's um, in the back. And the lady's name is? Ambujam. Excuse me one moment. Oh, man. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> Would you mind coming in for two seconds? Yes. Ambujam? Would yes. you mind? I'll yes. help you in. Yes. Thank you. to be with you. <laughs> OK. There we are. Now, Mum, we have a biryani top with a jambalaya interior, served with a biryani raita that you never serve with a jambalaya. Mm -hmm. You OK? Oh, this is so special. Oh. <laughs> Back in India, we don't allow men in our kitchen. No. Th that's women's yeah. duty. But he won't listen. <laughs> he has done very great. Thank you, Mom. Mom, do you think he's done enough to deserve an apron? He deserves and you're going to give him. We're going to give him. Wow. <laughs> Joe, where are we going? I am going to confirm what Mama said. I will give him an oh, apron. Oh, thank you. Thank you But you have you to have so the other much. two as well, so. Hold on. I have to say, sometimes fusion equals confusion. But not in this case. It's a yes from me. Thank you, Chef. For me, it's a capital yes. Thank God. Mum, put this apron over ah, your son. Thank you. Oh, nice of you. Please. Oh, boy. I'm humbled. There we go. Wear it with Thank pride you. and Thank don't you. let us down. did not expect that. If that's what you can do with a occasion inspired dish, a jumbo like, imagine what you do with a biryani. Yeah. With 15 white aprons remaining. They looks good. Our home cooks work to put their personalities on a plate. You guys want it Boston style? Woo! Give it to me, Dom. My name is Kenny, I'm 46 years old, and I'm a carpenter. Viva! I'm tired of being a carpenter. I've always wanted to give people the great food that I give my family, and I figured this is my opportunity to do that. Here I am, yeah. showing yeah. exactly yeah. what I can do. I had great grandparents that came from Naples and Sicily, so I had influences from all the regions of Italy. Ma, excellent job. Food is everything to us. My mother always said, most people eat to live, we live to eat. Bada boom, bada bing. It's all about the food. Perfect. Beautiful. That's a thin piece right there. What's up? 
Joe Bastianich is held in the highest regards from the north end of Boston and Little Italy. And I feel that he's probably going to hold me to a higher standard. Hey. hey. How are you? How are you? Good to see you, sir. Nice Long to see you. Wanted to stand in front of you guys. What's your name? My name's Kenny Palazzolo. So there's no doubt that you're from Boston. I am definitely <laughs> from Little Italy in the north end of Boston. So what are you making for us? A New York strip, brazol, latini, salt, and buca, stuffed with prosciutto and Can cheese. Can we start with the proper pronunciation? <laughs> <laughs> Boston. What, what do you say? What kind of Italian do you speak? You speak North End Italian. <laughs> Good luck, Italian Italian. Thank you. There you go. There you go. Salute! How much time do I have? Two minutes, Ken. Two. Two minutes. Could this be any more stressful? Everything I've wanted my whole life is going to come down to this 45 minutes. This is it. This is definitely pressure time right now. Ken, you got the cup of cheese over here. Oh, the cheese. Oh, my Don't God. Forget the cheese. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Don't fall behind. 20 seconds. You got it. You got it. Come on, Kenny. Just make it onto the plate. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Come on. four, three, two. I'm a little nervous about my risotto. I needed another two minutes. Go get them. Yes, sir. Hopefully, my signature dish is good enough. I've been looking to hang up my hammer for a spatula for a long time. This is my passion, this is my dream, and I have to chase it. This is the opportunity to change my life forever. Good evening. First name one, what's the dish? My name's Kenny Palazzolo. I brought you a New York strip, brigiolatini, salt and buca, on a bed of vegetable risotto. So where does the love from cooking come from? Generations of my family. I'm a guy that has a fork, a spoon, and a knife painted on the back of my boat that says Viva Pro Mangiare under it. What's the name of your boat? It's called the Hey Ma, What's Up? Because when I go to my mother's house, I open the fridge and I go, Hey Ma, what's up with these chicken cutlets? So the name of my boat is actually a reference to food. Let's hope it's good. Should we have a look? Yeah. Yep. Shall we? Penny. Oh, boy. So, Look at that presentation. Visually, wow. you've got it going on there, my man. I did my best. The Brazala not stewed in tomato sauce, it's basically a grilled stuffed steak. Yes. So this is an interpretation of what would be classic Italian. That's wonderful. You've wow. defied the odds because I'm amazed you got that texture from a New York strip. It, it does need homework on that risotto. I needed another two minutes. You know, it's a fierce competition this year, but I can taste the passion. Uh, that's evident. Um, for me, it's an absolute yes. It's really impressive. 100% yes for an apron for you. It's far from traditional, but it's well executed. And I think it's a really good interpretation of your personality into a tradition of Italian food. Benvenuto alla cucina di Masterchef. Grazie, amico mio. Prego. Buona fortuna. Grazie. Joe Bastianich, to hear him say that he believed in me and handed me that apron, such a surreal moment in my life, I'll never forget it. You're ready to do it. Get the apron on. Good man. All the dreams right here. All of my ancestors, they're looking down and they're smiling right now. South Carolina shrimp, but they'll do. A lot of talent has come through this kitchen so far. Yeah, I'm taken back by how much these home cooks are showing themselves on these dishes. Every dish, one after the other, raises the level. It's amazing. Really impressive. Careful trimming. I'm not going to cut my hand off. Ooh, those crawfish are spicy. You're not going to find anybody more competitive than I am. I'm, I'm a tournament fisherman. I treat every day like tournament day, even when I'm cooking. And I strive for perfection. That's the only way to be in life. OK, I think this is good. Did you taste it? Yeah. OK. This is the first dish I made for my wife when she wasn't that interested in me. But the dish was so good, that didn't matter. And here we are 10 years later, happily married. 
and we have an 11 month old at home. So this is the dish that's gonna get me an apron. Five, four, three, two, one, hands up! The dish, please. I did my take on a redfish cobayon with sauteed shrimp. This is a cold steak salad. The flavor profile is from Northern Thailand. The challenge with this is balance. You've achieved it. You cook the fish beautifully. You could be one to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right, guys. Sarah, come on down and take the station. My name is Sarah. I'm 31 years old, and I'm from San Diego, California. I actually wanted to come to MasterChef for the last couple years, but I have three kids under three. Isn't mommy doing such a good job? Yes, it's kind of smell. Yeah, she's making yummy. some potatoes. Yummy. Yeah. I have so much support behind me. I just got out of the military last year, and my husband said, go do this for you. This is where your heart is. I joined the military in 2008. I traveled the world as an army interrogator. I spent a year and a half in Afghanistan on the border of Pakistan. I've been to Kyrgyzstan, Kuwait. When you move around so much, you need something of consistency. And for me, that was always cooking. No matter where I went, I could always take a taste of home with me. And getting to cook today is the most amazing opportunity. I need that lamb, I need that lamb to temp up. I'm worried the lamb didn't have enough time to rest, but the taste should be beautiful, so hopefully it's enough to give me a white apron. Five, four, three, two, one! When I left the military, I had no idea what to do, but food has always been in my heart. Yay, go mommy! So I went to open up a restaurant. I need to show my kids that there is never a wrong time to go after your dream. Welcome. Uh, first name, and uh, what's the dish, please? My name is Sarah, and my dish is an herb-crusted rack of lamb with a fondant potato and a spring pea puree. Where did the passion come from for food? Cooking is where my heart lies. I was an army interrogator for 10 years. Wow. While traveling, I was able to pick up different profiles sure. and kind of bring that back and share that with my family. Extraordinary. Shall we? Indeed. Miss Sara, you feel comfortable with the cook on the lamb? I'm pretty happy with the cook. I do enjoy the seasoning of the lamb. I think the true star of this dish is the herb crust. Very interesting flavor profile that I think has really helped elevating the lamb. Thank you. All right. The dish is super clean. Thank you. Lamb's a little bit on the rare side for my taste. I prefer medium rare, but shows a lot of technical potential. Thank you, Joe. Good enough for an apron? I don't know. So, but look at that. Inside, I disagree with Joe. Spot on. I've cooked more lamb than him. Wow. You've nailed a rack of lamb. It's the kind of dish that I see in the top 10. Amazing. For me, it's a definite yes. Thank you. Aron. Sarah, it's a definite yes for an apron for you. Thank you. Joe. Yeah, um, well, what can I say? It's a dish of high execution, but I'm just not sure. It's season 10 worthy. This one's tough. for season 10 is sky high. Absolutely. We've almost given out half her aprons. Let's pick very, very carefully. I put everything on the line to be here, and you better believe I'm about to get an apron. I am making my signature dish. Growing up, trolls were the essential street food. It's a humble dish, and in a nutshell, that's who I am. 
My name is Michael Yarrow. I'm 19 years old and I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I started cooking every day when I was 12 years old. And food to me is what I wake up for. It's my passion. I don't have anybody here supporting me right now, but I do this to be able to pursue a dream that I've had since I was a little boy. My dad really wanted me to go to school really badly. And me choosing cooking really broke his heart. When I told my parents that I'm going to audition, my dad told me, expect the locks to be changed when you come home. Woo! I love them so much, but nobody's gonna hold me back from my dreams. Make sure it's beautiful. You got a Roan Sanchez about to eat your churros, all right? Six, five, four, finish your touches. The competition in MasterChef season 10 is next level. This means everything because this could literally change my life. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, first name, how old, and what makes you stand out? My name is Micah. I'm 19, and this is my passion, my hunger. I left everything behind to be here, and I came here with no one. A lot of my family do not view culinary arts as a worthy way to spend my time. But I remember when MasterChef came out, I was nine years old. And I realized that this is a platform that could launch somebody who comes from nothing. And do you have nothing? <laughs> At the moment, yeah. I don't even know if I have a home to go home to when I go home. Courageous. Describe the dish, please. They are my churros con chocolate. Fewer dishes represent who I am. It's street food. I'm a street kid. They are humble. The big question is, are they good enough for an apron? The fact that you dusted it with the cinnamon while it was still hot, that's traditional. But the chili, too much, baby. Cooking's clearly near and dear, and you're a very humble guy, and you've fought to cook. But it's a bloody churro. Joe, does it warrant an apron? For me, it's no. Aron. That churro dish does not show me enough. So my answer is no. Gents, I think you two are wrong. I know what it's like to have passion to turn your life around. And that's why I'm going to be giving you this. Oh. This is a battle pass. For the first time in this competition, Joe, Aron, and myself have one individual judge's save to use across the entire audition process. I'm playing my card on you. You have a second chance to battle it out. Whoever these two guys give their pass to, you're going up against for the last apron in the biggest cooking competition anywhere on the planet. Is that clear? Yes, chef. There must be other dishes in your wheelhouse that you're capable of nailing. I believe in you. Thank you, chef. Come and get this. Good luck. Thank you, chef. There's something in him that resonates with me at 19. You just wasted your battle card, Gordon. I thought I was going home. But for Gordon Ramsay to say that he believes in me, that's a dream come true, man. I got a second chance! Next step is the apron. I want it! Let's go! Yeah!